Hi, I'm Shayna, owner of Silverware by Shayna, and I'm a silverware artist. And today I'm going to talk about benders. I have three different benders, and we are going to bend some silverware and make some rings today with them. For starters, we have the Silverware Arbor Press Bending Tool. You can get these off eBay with those exact words I just said, and it's $170 for just the dies and the attachment. The Arbor Press, you can get those for about 70 bucks. I use this one mainly for bracelets and my wider rings. Now, each bender, I'm going to be showing off two different styles of rings, a band and a wrapped ring. They're each going to be the same size, but just on different benders, just to give you an example of what it looks like and how I work it. As for this bender, I do not use it that much for rings. As you're watching this, you're probably noticing that I'm struggling quite a bit with it. And that's just because I haven't really learned this portion. And uh, just like any tool, you gotta learn it if you want it to work. But this is what my finished wrapped ring looks like. It's, it's not pretty, I know. Again, you gotta know your tools and uh, know how to work them. Now I've seen other silverware artists use this one and another one that's very similar to it. And uh, they come out beautiful, but again, I only use this for bracelets and my wider rings. So the first ring I showed, that took 27 seconds and it had a lot of kinks into it, but this one took 29 seconds. It looks a little bit better towards the end, but it could definitely, it needs work. Next up, we got the Pepe Bender. This bender is $349. I've had this guy for eight years now. He definitely shows that he's pretty old because the new ones do not look like this. Now with him, you get a whole bunch of dies. That's not even half of them, but uh, I only use two. I use the 16 and the 14. And uh, if I need to resize and make the pieces bigger, I use my metal mandrel to make it bigger. Now, I ended up making three different videos for this because I wanted to show off how most silverware artists bend their rings in this thing. So I used to do it this way also, but I've learned in the long run, uh, my wrists and hands uh, were kind of achy. Same thing with my back. You got to keep in mind, I am bending at least 50 to 100 rings at a time. This bender was originally made for silversmiths, goldsmiths, people that are using softer metal, not plated metal. You'll notice on my handle it's welded on. It's because once you start putting your harder stuff through it, it'll eventually break off. And that's okay. You just weld it back on. And I got that nice little pipe up in there. That is for leverage to make my life easier. So this ring, well, it's kind of a ring, took 53 seconds. And uh, I'm not impressed. <laughs> but this is how I do it now. I get my little rawhide mallets, curve both sides. This is a wrapped ring, by the way. And you start hitting it. With one hand, I'll hold the handle so it's holding the silverware in place, and the other handle, I'm just hitting it away and forming it. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm just moving the ring around and just trying to form it the best I can. It's the same idea if you're using a metal mandrel and trying to form it that way, except you got something holding your piece for you. To make this ring, it took me 25 seconds. Next up is the band, and uh, I, I messed up on this one because I didn't realize I had a smaller ring size and I had a bigger die, and that's okay, but you get the idea of making a band. A lot of people will have these guys lower than them. I personally can't do that. I already got back problems from leaning over while sanding all the time. Mine is almost chest level. It's a little bit higher than my tummy, and uh, I think it's easier for me because I can see the piece better when bending. Here I am switching it out because I'm a dingus. But my Pepe Bender is on a nice little vise so I can raise it up higher. A lot of people don't have them bolted down onto a table. Like I said before, not fond of that. You would think by now, since I've made so many rings that I should know sizes and all that, I think I got the camera jitters. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I'm not used to long videos like this, but it's kind of working out. <laughs> but I do want you guys to realize that, yes, I in fact do make mistakes. So this ring ended up taking one minute, which is longer than usual, but uh, you had to switch out the dies and reform it again, And but it turned out nice. It's a beautiful round ring. And Okay, now we got the last bender, the Quick Form Press by Potter USA. This guy will run you $850. It comes with all those dies. This one's pretty unique because the handle comes off and go on the left or right side. So with this bender, it has so much strength, it's insane. The stainless pieces that I've tried before in the past and other benders that I tried bending ended up hurting me, but like this guy, no problem. Same as the Pepe bender with this guy, I am using the same die. I just reform it in my metal mandrel if I need to. Now this is my first bender that I had that I'm actually sitting down and I'm still trying to get used to it. So with my other benders, I stand so I can use my body weight to actually bend the pieces. But with the quick form press, it really takes no effort and it's weird. 
it's weird because I'm, I'm sitting down. It's no pain for me. I'm barely moving and it's just forming. You could really mess up a ring very quickly because you're not used to it if you've used other benders. All right, so that ring took 36 seconds, another perfectly round ring. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that everything I'm telling you is just my experience and uh, how I feel towards tools. Just like any tool, though, you have to learn it if you want it to work correctly. It's no different than driving, but then again, there are some really bad drivers and people that shouldn't have a license, but that's okay. But here we are with another round ring, and that ring took 22 seconds. Alright, so that was all my benders, and hopefully I helped someone with all this information.